Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video again, uh, one of the application of software defined radio. Uh, something just came into my mind, so I'm just making a video on it. Um, so my simple setup is this: I have my Rhodes and Schwartz signal generator that is generating frequency from nine kilohertz all the way up to six gigahertz. And if you can clearly see, I have connected this to my hack RF and my hack RF as you can clearly see my hack RF is right now uh, connected to my laptop that is running uh, the easiest software which is known as GQRX. The, so the key idea behind this video is going to be simply this how can I convert my hack RF into a portable spectrum analyzer. So remember most of the application that we probably have seen of hack RF is just to use it in terms of just mount your antenna and then you can use that as transmitting or a receiving device but in this video what we're trying to do remember we have these called USB spectrum analyzer that you can buy for several hundred dollars I can use hack RF and I can use hack RF as an spectrum analyzer if I want to just look at my signals or or, or if I want to troubleshoot something by connecting a probe to it so this basically just to show you indeed it is possible for you to connect your hack RF without antenna just by just simply connecting a cable to your signal generator or you can also connect a probe and then you can use that probe to actually uh, check your signals in your circuit board uh, and you can just visualize that the, the spectrum using your uh, GQRX or any spectrum software. So this is basically this demo just have a look at the demo. I have my function generator that is connected with this wire that is connected going into my hack RF. Definitely I am providing about negative 30 dBm of power uh, and, uh, because I don't want to actually burn out anything because I haven't put any attenuators or anything like that. I've just simply connected that my hack RF and I'm, I'm looking at the spectrum at the output. Now I have just changed uh, on my spectrum analyzer uh, on my function generator as you can see I'm generating a frequency of about 100 megahertz and I'm giving about negative 30 dBm so I'm just gonna simply turn it on by pressing an RF on button which is right here at the bottom right here so I'm gonna press this so this will generate a frequency at uh, 100 megahertz and that frequency is going into my hack RF right now and you can just clearly see this over here. Let me just turn on my hack RF, GQRX. So you can see this. There isn't a spike there. So basically what we have converted actually, I have converted my hack RF into a USB portable spectrum analyzer that works with a bunch of different devices that we have available, a bunch of different softwares that we have available for, for spectrum analyzer and for spectrum analysis. You can clearly see this. I am sending about 100 megahertz which is being generated by my function generator right here and uh, from that function generator I'm generating about 100 megahertz and and so on I can because my frequency uh, my hack RF is capable of generating about uh, 6 gigahertz I can receive up to 6 gigahertz of signal so I can generate a frequency up to 6 gigahertz because this is allowed by my spectrum analyze uh, my function generator so let me just go here and change the frequency let me go to frequency six giga and let me change the frequency here just to be on the safe side and here we go this is my frequency that is being generated at six gigahertz right here i can just simply turn off my rf off and i won't see the frequency so basically i have just converted my hack rf into a portable spectrum analyzer that you normally found USB spectrum analyzer and you don't have to buy any sophisticated softwares for it anyhow you can use it with SDR Angel you can use it with uh, GQRX you can use it with uh, a lot of different softwares which are available open source software now uh, also this thing has a capability you can also generate modulation as well so let's modulate the signal uh, I think I made a video already on it on the signal generator, but I'm just gonna change this frequency to 100 megahertz All right, and I'm gonna go to the property. I'm gonna go to diagram. Let me turn off RF off Let me go to diagram and just simply go to modulation and let's say I want to generate FM modulation because I've already set the parameters for it So it's not going to be so uh, I'm using an internal source 
and I'm using a normal frequency modulated signal that is generating 75 kilohertz of frequency deviation. The internal frequency is about 1 megahertz. That's the maximum I can generate. Um, the local uh, uh, the frequency, like uh, the internal frequency, that maximum you can generate is about 100, uh, 1 megahertz. I'm going to modulate the signal using a 100 megahertz of carrier, which is right here. So I'm all good to go. So I'm just going to escape out of it. So all the parameters are set. So I'm just going to simply go here and I'm going to click on our mod on. So modulation is on and I'm going to click on RF on. All right. So now, now the signal is modulated. Of course, there's nothing there. I'm going to change this frequency to 100 megahertz because it was tuned. So let me just, here we go. So this is an FM modulated frequency. Let me just turn off turn off my RF off, turn off the modulation. Here we go. We're not seeing anything. Here we go. I'm seeing something. So basically, so this was just a basic tutorial. Something just came in my mind and uh, I was like, uh, so I, you can use like, you can use SDR Angel. You can use the capability of SDR Angels to make measurements, uh, like uh, spectrum measurements. And I think made, I made a video on it and things like that. And so this is just a basically a simple setup. That's it, hack RF, which is connected, uh, a computer that has some type of a spectrum uh, software, and you have plenty of those, and you just need a function generator as well. Um, also, you can use this. Uh, uh, I, I also have an active probe. I'll, I will make a video on it where you can connect an active probe, and then you can diagnose the circuit, and then just use hack RF's capability and use it as a spectrum analyzer to actually see, uh, to troubleshoot your circuits, uh, troubleshoot your circuits and things like that, and what type of a signals your circuit is required and things like that. You don't need to buy a spectrum analyzer if you only have Hack RF, you're good to go. So I hope you like this small tutorial on this. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my.